This is such a relevant subject. Reusing becoming normal. I paid $55 for this item. Prada pants for the price of Zara. This is insane. Get it, get it. $150 bucks for a brand new Kate jeans. Such a cool little accessory. A Saint Laurent black dress. I found beautiful piece in excellent condition. It's such an it item. It's a trending. You gotta have it. Can be a great addition to this piece. The real reason is the real deal. Hi, I'm Anna Casey and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I have the real real Tron haul for you. This is such a relevant subject, such a trending subject. What's real real? It's basically a luxury second hand. It's a resale platform where you can sell your clothing items or accessories, um, you can purchase someone else's. Why I chose the real real is because I trust them more than any other resale platforms that I know. I never bought a second-hand pieces before and I have no experience in thrifting or vintage shopping or any of that at all. To me, I have this stereotype of thrifting as like people buying for very cheap, very used pieces of clothing, where now I just see that world moving towards more sustainability and reusing becoming more and more possible popular, trending, and normal. For the first time in my life, I decided to purchase secondhand pieces. I want to give you full review, style, outfits with the pieces that I got. I also got an accessory. Everything here is high-end designer pieces. Personally, I sold a lot of my clothes through secondhand platform. I have an account on Poshmark. Many of these pieces are brand new or in the pristine or excellent condition sometimes even with the original tags i'm excited to show you what i got i have here designers like louis vuitton prada kate saint laurent let's get into this video the Real Real is not only an online platform, they have retail stores all throughout US. And I just want to mention that all of the content on my YouTube channel is organic, so is this video. I'm not monetizing on it and the only goal of this video is to deliver you my honest feedback on my experience as a customer of The Real Real. I'm also sharing my personal tips, so I hope you'll find this video interesting. I live in Orange County and the closest The Real Real store to me is the one in Lidomar in a village in Newport Beach, California. So one morning I decided to take a nice 10 minutes drive from my house down the PCH to show you what it looks like. Lida Marina Village is a small outdoor shopping mall located right on the marina and also features nice restaurants like Nobu. I got a nice brunch at the Malibu farm there. I ordered delicious French toast with rose flavored latte. Besides how pretty and photogenic this coffee is, it is also incredibly yummy. You got to try it. So as you can see the real real is the real deal with a security guard outside and everything. The merchandisers at this store do an amazing job the way they lay out clothes and accessories inside. Makes you want to buy everything. I went inside but I was shy to ask them if I can film so you got to go there physically yourself now. Anyway I saw so many items that are the same that I have in my closet just at this one store but I paid full price at the boutique where I bought my stuff at and there they have it for a quarter of what I paid like I'm talking my Saint Laurent heels, Louis Vuitton sweater and also pieces that they mark as good or very good condition looks great so it's nice to see items in person Okay, so let me walk you through the items that I got and kind of talk about each one of them individually. First of all, when I was shopping, I selected the brands that I would want to consider. Like I didn't go through like all million brands that they care. This is basically brands that I wear, I shop at their boutiques and etc. I placed a filter on my search and I only were considering pristine and excellent condition pieces and most of them are with original tags I mean that's definitely mind-blowing saving pieces from the real real come in these dust bags each piece were placed in individual dust bag with the real real logo and in the 
shipping box. When I opened it, it was very carefully packaged. When I watch YouTube videos, I noticed that people keep the most expensive items till the very end, but I'm gonna start with the most expensive item that I got. I cannot believe that I found Petite Mal, Mali, Mali. <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce that name. This Louis Vuitton trunk bag, $2,000, you guys, this is crazy. This bag from 2016 limited edition collection that uh, I believe was called the Night Owl uh, or the Nightbird. So it's a trunk with a sequin and we can clearly see the owl face. Beautiful piece in excellent condition. It didn't came with any Louis Vuitton packages, dust bags, etc. So this is how it came in just basically the real real dust bag. But I can tell that this piece maybe was worn once or twice or whoever owned it was very careful and gentle with designer pieces. Actually I am too. I'm very very gentle. Person that bought it back in when it came out in 2016 paid over eight thousand dollars for it and that I now were able to buy it for less than a quarter of the price is just wow. The trunk model is classic Louis Vuitton bag, most expensive Louis Vuitton bag. A lot of you might think, no, this print is like old school or I, I don't know if you do think like that. I don't personally, but you might think, oh, you're not gonna wear that often. I actually thought of this before I purchased it and I thought for myself, will I actually wear it? Like I know this is a clutch, so it's an evening bag, right? I thought if I would be wearing it enough, still $2,000 is $2,000 and I didn't actually see it on anyone else. I got this idea and thinking I'm gonna buy a strap from the boutique modern current collection and I'm just gonna refresh this strap which I did. This bag started to look like it came out from the current collection. This purse has such a cool colors that are very wearable like gold. We see a little bit of white and gray, black leather, there is a little bit of patent blue, little burgundy, very muted colors that work together really well. I actually love the inside of the trunk and I think insides of them are kind of always the same. At least I just recently went to Louis Vuitton, like I said, to buy a strap and I took a look at a few trunks from the current collection and they're basically all the same on the inside. So basically you see, it's such a classic monogram strap that immediately freshes up the look, right? And it also has black leather details and the strap is reversible so I can wear it the black side as well. Has golden uh, hardware just like the back has. Also this strap perfectly matching my LV can bag. You see like it has the same color monogram and also black leather and the gold details. Whenever you buy from the resale you want to upgrade your items and make sure everything fits you perfectly make sure you dry clean you take all the caring precautions you need to make the items yours make sure it works for you and then it's actually a game-changing shopping experience because you end up saving up so much money especially if you find something that you truly truly love and will wear off Next item that I got from The Real Real is this Saint Laurent black dress. If you remember this dress from the last year's collection, it's in pristine condition. It just doesn't have the original tags, but it looks like it's never been worn. This type of dress, I want to say it's like an elevated sundress, definitely a summer wear piece. I love that it has a midi length and I absolutely love the triangle uh, cut out design on the front right here very nicely benefit my cleavage and my chest I love the open back I guess I got really lucky because sometimes the real real has its own sales and uh, I think I hit the sale period and I got this dress on sale for three hundred and thirty dollars but initially it was placed on the real real for $825 but original price of this dress yeah I believe it is the last spring summer collection 
it clearly was over $2,000 item. Black dress by Saint Laurent for a little over than $300 in the pristine condition. You can wear it with the slides during the day, sunglasses, bigger kind, beach bag, or you can dress it up and wear it with the high heels and even this clutch for a night out. So it's such a universal piece that I'm definitely planning to wear often and style it multiple different ways. This LV strap is so cool. Besides that it is reversible, it is also can be shortened to a shoulder bag size, not only crossbody. I think this Saint Laurent dress is such a nice versatile resort wear piece. Simple black dress with high heels and statement bag is a perfect outfit for a cocktail or a dinner when you're on vacation. You can always add jewelry you like. I'm wearing my Louis Vuitton studs. I also like that this dress features side pockets. By the way, when you sell on the real real, it's not like Poshmark or other platforms where you can buy directly from people. If I sell something on Poshmark, I'm the person who shipping the items out. Where on the real real, if you want to sell something, they will send you a box, you pack whatever you want to sell with them, and they check authenticity, they check condition, they check everything, and whoever buys the piece, buys it directly from the real real. This part of their work really buys me and I trust them with my experience, which I think is very important. The next piece is this Prada top. It's such a simple, basic top by Prada. They make them every single season in different variations. Remember the one with like a um, triangle logo? The reason I didn't care to buy like with a triangle logo because it's ridiculously overpriced for just a top. Plus, I have a little accessory that I think can make this top look really, really chic. Hang on, I'll show you. Okay, so you had to see me wearing this card holder on chain. This is such a cool little accessory that can elevate any product outfit because of this triangle I can put it like this you see immediately elevated and looks better than that white tee with the triangle logo because I think it has also function but anyway I love this piece and initially it was put for sale on the real real at the price of a two hundred and ten dollars and what I ended up paying for this piece a hundred and five dollars yeah hundred dollars for a tank still a lot but it's not even comparable to the actual Prada tank tops that you buy at the retail for like what 800 or something but anyway yeah I'm super excited and this piece comes with original Prada tags so it's never been worn wow I'm definitely planning to wear this a lot the next piece I have is this Prada pants they are very much similar to the pants I'm wearing right now by Louis Vuitton but these are more like a cargo style pants they also have these zippers on the back of the legs so do these pants by Prada have same type of zippers but they are skinny pants so they're like leggings and honestly okay are you ready comment right now and tell me how much you think I paid for them. They are by the way in excellent condition. There is no original tags but there is no flaws on them so they're never been worn or worn once or twice. What do you think? I paid $55 for this item. $55. <laughs> I paid $1,700 for these pants and this is $55. I basically bought Prada pants for the price of Zara. I mean how can you not love the resale after all? This is insane. Thing. I also love all the little details. There is like Prada, um, matte black, zippers, very thick quality material. There is not one flaw on these pants. Wow. Next piece, I got this Kate jeans. They are brand new with tags in pristine condition. Let's see how much did I pay for them. Okay, so initially they were placed at $255 and I bought them for $153. 150 bucks for a brand new Kate jeans. 
what would they cost at the retail? I don't know, like go to another part there because those are like new season. These are like 20, like late 2023 or 2024 season. You can still find them at the store. I saw them on many It Girls, the way they wear and style them. They have very low, basically, what do you call it, crotch. And they're like, you know, straight leg, baggy jeans. I would have never ever bought this. But then because it's such an It item, you know, it's a trending, you gotta have it, get it, get it. First of all, I don't have any items by Kate in my closet. I never thought that this brand identified with my style. After I saw these jeans on so many people, and then when I spotted them on the real real, I'm like, yeah, I think I need them. I think that because of how baggy they are, they look really cool. They look very fashionable. Uh, you can style them indefinite amount of ways. I think they look cool with high heels. So you kind of, you know, balance such a masculine feet with more like feminine high heel. That would be cool. Like this even tank top can be a great addition to this piece. And I know in previous video, I told you that I'm not a fan of blue denim, but this wash actually looks really cool. I love the quality. I love the feet. They are in a size 26. So they're not gigantic. They're just actually baggy. Like that's their design. Well, that's what it for my try and haul from the real real. I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.